It was a deceptively normal Sunday morning for Peter Hollingworth, worshipping as usual at Canberra St John's Anglican Church. There was no outward sign his time of reflection was drawing to an end. Good morning. Good morning. Are you considering your, your longer term here? Thank you. But late this afternoon, the decision came. Not a videotape, but a six-paragraph statement from Government House telling the nation, it is with deep regret and after much thought that I have today advised the Prime Minister that I wish to resign from the office of Governor-General. Despite the misplaced and unwarranted allegations made against me as Governor-General, it went on, it's clear that continuing public controversy has the potential to undermine and diminish my capacity to uphold the importance, dignity and integrity of this high office. The writing had been on the wall for a fortnight since the Prime Minister summoned the Governor-General to Sydney to discuss his future. At issue was Dr Hollingworth's behaviour as Anglican Archbishop of Brisbane and the finding of a church report that condemned his decision not to sack a pedophile priest. The Governor-General himself acknowledged a serious error of judgement. The Governor-General has told me in giving consideration to the longer term tenure of that office that he will place the dignity and the protection of the office above all other consideration. Dr Hollingworth then became the first Governor General in a century of federation to stand aside so that the Victorian Supreme Court could deal with 40 year old rape accusations. They were put to rest on Friday, but not the demands for his resignation. And for so long as he continues to hang on to the Governor-General, people will conclude that the Prime Minister is prepared to condone someone who covers up for pedophiles. It's more than a year since John Howard first signalled Peter Hollingworth should consider resignation. With the clamour of criticism reaching a crescendo, it finally became impossible for the Governor-General not to acknowledge he'd lost the confidence of the people and that staying on would do irreparable damage to the office he's sworn to uphold. Dr Hollingworth and the Prime Minister spoke again today before his decision and they'll meet at Government House tomorrow to discuss how to manage the transition. For the moment, Sir Guy Green is administrator performing all official functions. This evening, Dr Hollingworth remains at Yarralumla Governor-General in name only, and even that not for much longer. Jim Middleton, ABC News, Canberra.